16. I stood there in the garage, stunned for a long moment. I stared at the snow falling in big flakes outside the open door. I listened to the swirl of the wind coming around the side of the garage. Yes! Yes! I cried out loud. I put my fist above my head. The evil dummy was gone. Not my problem anymore. I didn't have to worry about seeking him to school. I didn't have to worry about Hansel thinking I stole him. Yes! Yes! Pure joy. Suddenly, the pain throbbed in my nose. It was a reminder of how dangerous he could be. He tried to take off my nose. He could hurt others, I realized. I was the only one who knew how to stop him. I had no choice. I had to go after him. I crept back into the house, grabbed my coat, and headed back into the snow. The big snowflakes were coming down hard, and the snow had started to stick on the driveway and lawn. I moved quickly down the driveway, following small shoe prints in the fresh snow. Slappy's shoe prints. I pulled my hood down and jogged to the sidewalk. The prints of the dummy shoes were hard to see, and the fast falling snow was quickly covering them. Where is he going? Where would be a natural place for him to go? I had no idea. I took off. My sneakers slit on the icy surface. I followed the shoe prints into the street, but he disappeared in the middle of the road. I crossed and searched for them on the other side. Slappy had passed an empty lot and was heading towards a group of small houses. Snowflakes tangled on my eyebrows. I brushed them away and tugged my hood lower. A long, dark SUV rumbled past. The headlights rolled over me. The light made the tiny shoe prints sparkle on the snowy walk. The driver slowed, watching me. And the big car sped away, back tires skidding on the slippery surface. I jogged with my head lowered squinting hard to follow the trail so I had left. The wind blew drifts of snow around me as I moved, and a few times I lost the trail completely and thought I would have to turn around and go home. I stood bent over, studying the ground. My breath puffed up white steam in front of me. I found the trail again. It led up Morgan's Hill, past Morgan Park, where we go to play softball and soccer. A patch of tall evergreen trees stood at the top of the hill. Even in the snowy dim light, I could see that their branches were already covered in white. I stopped to catch my breath. Slappy, where are you taking me? I raised both hands and shook the snow off my hood. My side began to ache from jogging uphill. I didn't remember what stood beyond the tall evergreens. I didn't remember until I saw the low fence, and the mountains of dirt covered in snow, and the gravestones in perfect rows, the gravestones rising straight up from the snow-covered ground. And then I realized I was at Pine Hill Cemetery. And I saw him. I saw the dummy standing in the snow between two rows of low graves. Peering through the curtain of fallen flakes, I saw a slappy watching me from the graveyard. Watching me and beckoning with one wooden finger, calling me into the graveyard, the ugly grin frozen on his evil face.